Well, today, everybody, I'm going to be giving you a top 10 list of my own personal favorite amp sims for creating metal here in 2024. This video has become more or less an annual tradition, and I love creating this video because every time I do this in the beginning of every single calendar year, my list is always vastly different because throughout the previous calendar year, there's like an abundance of new products for us to check out and just make heavy tones with, right? So before I give you my list, be sure to follow me on Spotify, like this video, and subscribe to this channel, and leave your favorite amp sim down below in the comment section because I love to learn from you guys, and I always like to just see, you know, what your guys' favorite stuff is, you know? Your opinions and recommendations always help me get better as a creator myself. So thank you so much in advance. All right, so let's kick off this list right now. No honorable mentions. So let's just start off with number 10, and that is the Neural DSP Mesa Boogie Mark II C Plus Suite. Now, this came out last year in 2023, I do believe, if my memory serves correctly. It's not that old, basically, is what I'm trying to say. And, um, you know, at the time, I was getting kind of burned out with the archetypes and the Neural DSP plug-in suite because they were starting to do kind of the same thing, more or less, and that is such a great problem to have. I'm really not complaining at all. But this one really caught my eye because, call it how it is, the 2C Plus sound from Mesa Boogie is like one of the best sounds from any sort of real amplifier in the real world and it is heavily sought after but the real amp is incredibly rare and incredibly expensive in the real world so the fact that neural dsp teamed up with mesa boogie and created the 2c plus in plug-in format that's huge man i mean in my opinion this amp sim really captures and emulates and recreates the iconic 2c plus sounds like the iconic metallica sounds the iconic John Petrucci sounds, you know, the pull me under chugs, you know what I mean? Like those are so sick, right? So yeah, if, they, if that's your sound, I say go with this one, okay? Number nine, the Pliny X, again, from Neural DSP. Surprise, surprise, Neural DSP is probably gonna be on this list a lot because hey, they're crushing it, right? So the Pliny X is the most prog and honestly looking at my list, the only real like prog type of amp sim out there, you know, prog, metal, it's, we're splitting hairs with the genres, right? But this one necessarily isn't my overall favorite for, dare I say, heavy tones, but in my opinion, it does all of the tones the best in the modern day. Also too, the Pliny X is like the more updated and revamped version of the Neural DSP products. So like the transpose knob, the doubler, the eventual hypothetical ability to run it in the uh, quad cortex, you know, that remains to be seen here in mid-January 2024. But anyway, man, getting back to the Pliny X, this thing, in my opinion, does everything the best. It's not necessarily, like I said, my favorite for exclusive heavy metal tones, but like the ambience, the cleans, and everything in between, like this thing has you covered, in my opinion. A lot of amp sims do what the Pliny X sound does, in my opinion, but this one is the most modern and like has all the features that are almost like industry standards anymore in amp sims. Number eight, <laughs> I can't believe it's still on this list, but here it is, Neuro DSP's Nameless Suite. Now, this one is very limiting, but it is absolutely crushing. I say it every time I talk about this amp sim, but I'll say it right here in this video because I'm talking about it. This amp sim, when it came out in the middle of 2018, towards the end of summer 2018, like what, like July, August, something like that of 2018, it was the game changer for amp sims. Like that raised the bar so much. And I remember being brand new to YouTube at the time, just being super stoked because not only was everybody else excited, but my, I myself was incredibly excited as well because amp sims at the time, like they sounded solid, but like this one was just like whew, next level. And again, I've said it a million times about the Nameless Suite. It is by far and away the most unique sounding out of any amp sim I've ever tried. But it is only at number eight because to the best of my knowledge, it doesn't have all the modern features that say like the Pliny X has just yet at the time of this filming. And also too, like it doesn't really do um, like the ambience and like, you know, the crazy washi chorusy effect stuff. It's basically just like focusing on like the Fortin Meshuggah amplifier. Let's call it how it is, right? But that sound is so amazing. So I love it, but it's slowly going down on the list, but it's still here in 2024 at number eight. This might be a shocker. Number seven is the Dino Cazares Amsim, the Tone Forge Amsim from JST. Joey Surge's tones, hey, give credit where credit's due, man. You know, say what you want, but like they were like the pioneers, that company as a whole, in terms of like pushing the Amsim game in like the mid 2010s, the late 2010s. And they came out with this Amsim in like May of 2023. And I think it sounds great, man. But one thing I genuinely appreciate about this Amsim, and I think it's like exclusive to this Amsim, again, to my relatively you know naive experience with trying all the amp sims out there but it does this thing where you can capture and and like replicate like your di kind of signal and it allows you to like sculpt your tone a little bit more and like you can gain match and like it's hard to explain but basically like you have the ability to capture your di and then like the amp sim 
reacts according to like the snapshot of your DI. It can be a little bit nerdy, like you know, you're kind of getting the weeds there, but hey, I appreciate and value something unique. That DI capture feature, I really appreciate. Number six, the Clairvoyant from Modern Metal Songwriter. Now, is it the most elaborate and the most, you know, high tech compared to some other amp sims out there? In my opinion, not necessarily. But what Modern Metal Songwriter does is they cater towards, you know, <laughs> writing songs. That's why their business is called that, right? So, you know, the high gain tones, like they really just fit well in a mix. And if you're not somebody who doesn't like to tweak, if you just want something that just sounds great out of the box, as they say, this is your go-to. So if you want to take out any sort of variables and aren't necessarily about like getting in the weeds of dialing in tones and like having a big giant elaborate rig, I see no reason why you wouldn't want to check out the clairvoyant, okay? Number five, my favorite amp sim probably of all time, but it is slowly but surely becoming outdated. And it was at number one at one point in time, but it has slowly gone down to number five. And that is the STL Tonality Andy James Suite. Throughout the years of me creating riffs and creating demos, I've always gone to this amp sim. It doesn't crash your computer. You can have a ton of different tracks with this amp sim. It's quick, reliable, like the default preset as soon as you open it up with the EVH amp. That's been like my favorite go-to tone for such a long time. A lot of my Instagram reels and my YouTube shorts and my TikToks were created using this amp sim. But that being said, you know, in comparison to say like, you know, the Pliny X or like any of the X series from Neural DSP, this one has become a little bit outdated. Has great high gain tones and lead tones. The clean tones, I'm not really necessarily a huge fan of. But, you know, that number one amp sim, the EVH amp sim, has been like my tried and true go-to ever since it came out like four and a half years ago now. And so, you know, it belongs on this list in my opinion. Number four is the MLC S0100 from Bogren Digital. The reason why it's number four on this list is because it has one specific feature that I've never seen on an amp sim. And that feature is called the IRDX technology. What the heck is that? IRDX stands for Impulse Response Dynamics Technology. And this amp sim, when you dial in this knob to taste, it makes it sound the most real compared to some of the other amp sims that are actually on this list. It's a subtle feature and it's nothing crazy, but it adds a level of like air, like the, the, the emulation of like air being pushed from a speaker and then hitting the microphone. And my own experience when recording real cabinets, whether it's here or like in a studio or wherever, like at a jam practice, wherever, man, like real amps and, and tube amps, they push speakers, right? And when the, the speaker is being pushed, it creates this level of like high end presence, but like, it's hard to explain. Like, I can't really like show you with my hands. It's just like, if you've been playing amps, you know, real amps in the real world, you know what I'm talking about. Well, this amp sim recreates that using the IRDX technology. And for me, I really appreciate that and appreciate what Bogren Digital has done because again, similar to say like, you know, Neural DSP with all the X series stuff. I keep using that as the benchmark because you know, they're killing the game right now. So like Bogren Digital adding something like this is another added feature that will just ultimately continue to push amp sims to make them better and better, right? And so, yeah, dude, I really sincerely appreciate this little added feature. Not to mention the amp sim itself sounds absolutely gnarly and heavy and just sick for lack of a better description. Number three, who's taking the bronze today? Well, this amp sim actually was at one point in time my number one amp sim, my favorite high gain tone of all time. And it still might be, but in comparison to some other amp sims, it's down in third place. And that is the Auto Audio 1111. Now, I will still say this to this day, nothing sounds heavier. Nothing sounds more brutal and gnarly and good. <laughs> like it sounds ridiculously heavy to the point where like when you play it, you crack up because of just how heavy it sounds. No amp sim sounds heavier than this one right here. But with that being said, the features are pretty limiting again, especially here in 2024. Like to the best of my knowledge, it still doesn't even have a tuner. Unfortunately, that's a bit of a, uh, you know, a negative, right? You gotta have a tuner on your amp sim. As well as it doesn't really have any like elaborate, huge rig building features like chorus, you know, ping pong delays, ambient reverb, etc. But your core tone, whew, you know, nothing's heavier. So the 1111, number three. Number two, the newest one, newest one on the market right now. And that is the Archetype Gojira. X from Neural DSP. This is Neural DSP's best metal amp sim in my opinion. Now with the added features of the revamping with the X, you know, rebrand like 2.0, whatever you want to call it, like it's awesome. I haven't done a video on the Archetype Gojira X just yet. Let me know if you guys even want to see that. 
um, you know, to me, it's just, I, I'm not sure if that's worth any value to you guys, but if it is, just let me know. But let me tell you guys, like the Gojira, before it was even revamped and revitalized, like, it's so heavy and so gnarly. And like I said, man, it's it's definitely Neuro DSP's best metal amp sim in my opinion. Now with the added features and the doubler and the transpose knob and the blah, 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 the X capability, the eventual quad cortex capability, we'll see, right? But uh, regardless, man, as an amp sim alone, it's pretty sick. But that leads us to number one. What is my favorite and what is the amp sim that I feel deserves the number one spot? Well, it is in fact, the Mixwave Mike Stringer Amp Sim. All the features that I'm talking about with all of the other Amp Sims, in my opinion, are jam-packed into the Mixwave Mike Stringer. Transpose knob, tuner, chorus effect, ambient washed out tones, crunch tones, rhythm tones, lead tones, whatever, man. Like, this thing has you covered so well, in my opinion. This Amp Sim has since replaced the Tonality Andy James as my go-to Amp Sim. I use it literally exclusively, truthfully, like anytime I'm doing a demo, whether it's a piece of equipment or I'm doing, you know, a demo for an original song that will ultimately be, you know, sent off to go mix and become like a legit thing that you guys can listen to on streaming services. Or if I'm doing a reel, a TikTok, a YouTube short, it's always, always the Mike Stringer plugin. And I think it's for many reasons. One, it doesn't crash my computer. That's huge, man. Like I need that whenever I have a big giant elaborate project, I need it to not crash. A lot of these amp sims, they're awesome, but they're very CPU heavy. And like, you know, if it can do a whole bunch of stuff, but your computer can't handle it, or like it's too elaborate, is it really useful? You know, like that's like a risk versus reward. Is the juice worth the squeeze type of thing? Anyway, man, for whatever reason, I'm not a computer nerd. I don't know all the ins and outs of all that stuff. I just know what works for me and what doesn't. And the Mike Stringer Mixwave plugin works flawlessly. And again, to circle back around with the transpose knob, you guys know me. I love to do a lot of ignorantly low tunings, like the double drop C sharp stuff that I do, like songs like Endorphins, Neck, Neck Brace, Subtle Comeback, Kick It, right? Like all that stuff is like double drop C sharp. I can now replace my drop pedal, like my analog drop pedal, and I can just use the transpose knob in the Mike Stringer plugin. It tracks flawlessly. It does exactly what I need it to do. And there's no latency, no weird artificial harmonics, nothing. It's just seamless. And I dig it, man. And not to mention Mike's an incredible player and Spearbox is arguably one of, if not the best modern metal bands out there. So if like, if that's any indication, like, you know, it makes sense why that's number one, right? So all in all, everybody, that is my list, my top 10 favorite amp sims in the game right now here in 2024. Now on my channel, I have tone demonstrations and dedicated videos to all these amp sims. So if you guys want to hear my in-depth thoughts and opinions on all of them, by all means, go back and just search the amp sim that you're looking for on my channel. And I guarantee you, I have a video dedicated to it, okay? But everybody, with that being said, that's my list. I'd love to hear from you guys down below in the comment section. What do you guys think of my thoughts and opinions? And uh, yeah. Tell me if I missed something, okay? So one more time, be sure to follow me on Spotify, like this video, and subscribe to this channel. This channel is awesome, and I sincerely love creating for you guys, okay? With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves out there, all right? See you guys. Later.